actually i wanted to go more through the uh, structured way i want a structured course so i got into this i found that acuo job uh, program is very well structured actually so uh, i saw that acuo job is also teaching java which is uh, hmm. very much uh, like a uh, demand nowadays so right. i found uh, it will be very good uh, to learn java uh, dsl with java and and uh, acuo job is also doing the same thing <laughs> Hey hi everyone this is Yashwardhan I am one of the founders here at Acio Job and today I have a really interesting guest with us uh, Sai Vivek and Sai Vivek did his undergraduation from NIT Karnataka uh, which is a tier 1 college he did it in electrical engineering from there he wanted to pursue government jobs opted to uh, write gate exam and uh, prepared for the gate exam for a year or so and then finally again decided that he wanted to transition back into uh, the it sector which was booming and uh, get into a good job there so uh, his journey is pretty interesting we we'll learn a lot about uh, how his learning patterns were during he, uh, when he was studying with acuo job what did he focus more on and of course how is he finding it in his job now uh, at surya software as well right so let's just dive straight in so vivek can you give us a brief introduction about how uh, like the before you joined acuo job everything what happened where where have you been born and brought up how was college like uh, what did you do in electrical engineering myself kunta saivek i am from telangana uh, i graduated from nitk suratkal in the year 2020 so mm-hmm. after my college uh, i started preparing for gate to get into psus i prepared for it like uh, one and a half year Uh, but things didn't go well uh, i was looking for a job at that time it is mm-hmm. then i found acuo job through one of my friends who is also now placed in uh, one of a company and uh, i joined acuo job in the month december uh, 2021 and after 6 months of training at acuo job and uh, i got placed into surya software and i'm at the job right now got it understood right so Vivek, one curious question I'm sure the audience would have, right? So, uh, you went into NIT Karnataka, that's like a a, a a tier one college, and after you graduated, a lot of students go opt for gate and uh, government exams, right? And uh, that's a traditional path which you also took and gave it that a shot during the COVID time. Uh, how was gate preparation like? What are what 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 was going on in your mind when you decided to uh, drop out of gate preparation and sort of give a shot to uh get a job in the it sector first right so tell us a little bit more about like what were you thinking what was the idea like so my idea was simple like uh preparing for gate for like one and a half year i and things didn't go well and just i wanted to start a job so i have my friends in it as well they are working mm-hmm. in it sector so I contacted few of them they suggested me to uh, go through a course like take a, a fundamentals of programming and then uh, they also suggested me to learn dsa which is very important in uh, the interviews nowadays and uh, mostly they suggested me to become a developer hmm. because uh, it's a good career and they told me about all those things that happens in the interviews like dsa equations that's when uh, i w- i got through one of my friend uh, got to know about acuo job that's uh, how i got into acuo job understood got it okay interesting vivek so so my next question here again is that so when your friends were already working in software dev right uh, so i'm sure they have like lo- lots of insights as to how did they prepare and uh, what is more important and what is asked in interviews etc so yeah. why did you think of taking up a program and enrolling into a proper program to learn and prepare for these jobs instead of just like taking help from youtube and your friends and getting it getting things done by yourself yeah. right actually i wanted to go more through the uh, structured way i want a structured course so i got into this i found that acuo job uh, program is very well structured actually so uh, i saw that acuo job is also teaching java which is uh, hmm. very much uh, like a uh, demand nowadays so right. i found uh, it will be very good uh, to learn java uh, dsl with java and and uh, acuo job is also doing the same thing one from a non uh, tech background like cs or it so when they mm-hmm. want to start a career as a developer they need the basics right they need everything mm-hmm. from the scratch 
that's where right. like your job plays an important role it hmm. gives you everything from scratch even if you ask a silly doubt in class no one will judge you they'll help you that's what a student right. requires me starting from the scratch right and those open doubt sessions and uh, doubt sessions they are pretty much helpful for all the students got it understood yeah. understood so you were you were in this mindset that i want to learn it from scratch in a really structured manner and a program yes. will sort of help you get that discipline also that consistency and uh, a proper structure attached that every day you will learn this topic you will get assignments on that topic so you don't need to worry a lot about here and there what is what do i need to study today what should i focus on tomorrow right uh, you have it on your plate and sort of uh, you need to just stick to it and focus on learning rather than figuring out the paths to uh, yeah. getting played understood a program like our sort of gets you that environment uh, a set of people who are all working towards the same uh, sort of uh, career trajectory right yeah. plus everyone trying to assist each other out plus i'm students get hundreds of doubts right trust me yeah. uh, during this entire journey and having prompt resolution to those by people who are actually experienced who have gone through that path uh makes the journey much more easier right if someone is trying to do it by themselves uh they need to put in a lot of effort to figure out how do i get help for this how do i get help for that right and that gets bridged very well understood right so let's deep dive into your actual job journey so who was your instructor how did you like the teaching what did you focus on most uh how many hours did you put in don't lie there uh, yes. and how many questions did you solve every day so uh, talk a little bit more about your journey and how did you learn during at your job so my journey started from december 27 2021 and my batch mm-hmm. instructor is sundar and he's a very good instructor it's more of a uh, like friendly teaching and you can ask up anything and he will be able to solve your doubts he is so friendly with the students even after the class uh, during personal chat even if he ask questions he he'll respond to you responded mm-hmm. actually and yep. uh, uh, the doubt session that was solved uh, during 7 to 8 uh, uh, 7 to 8 pm there was a doubt session it was taken mm-hmm. by nikit he is also very good uh, like more of my doubts got clarified like my assignment doubts uh, everything got clarified in that session i put uh, time to revise the notes uh, that i have made during the class and then after mm-hmm. uh, I, after each class there will be assignments right so mm-hmm. uh, i finish those assignments so you can say it like uh, besides class hours uh, you can say it's like 3 to 4 hours one thing i want to mention i, I would like to thank ishani my batch manager she even uh, took one on one mentorship mentorship session with students she went through our resumes and she gave feedback on how to improve our skills and also mm-hmm. she even checked our linkedin she asked us to uh, improve the connections like that's the kind of care one uh, student expect like when you start from scratch and when you want to get your first job even after a, after a like gap of 2 years or 1.5 years and she is always available whenever i have a doubt i can just uh, talk to her and she is available all the time special thanks to ishani yep absolutely god it makes a lot of sense so you uh, i'm sure you went through the intermediate dsa portion how were the mock interviews like what were your scores in the mock interview so i like to mention my scores uh, i had given uh, three mocks three intermediate mocks okay my scores okay. were 9 8 and 8 every time it yeah. was good so okay the mocks are really helpful like they just mm. uh, make you ready for uh, interview they create that environment where you speak up to the interviewer they uh, also give you some confidence in how to attend an interview how to present yourself in an interview you know a question you know a solution and same thing is asked in an interview so mm. it's like how you are presenting it in an interview you got it understood and uh, one more thing i wanted to ask like uh, how many companies did you sit for in interviews and during the placement season and then how how was the process with surya software first company i sat is for gainsight uh, i didn't get through it and uh, surya was my second interview So the uh, process is very quick i had to mention about the process it's very quick and uh, i gave the test on 17th the first round uh, there were nearly 100 people who gave the test and i think 9 to 10 people got shortlisted for the first round and first okay. round was uh, based on uh, like uh, dsa questions like you can say it as basic to in, uh, intermediate dsa they just mm-hmm. want to test your ability and uh, uh, like few of my friends uh, were also asked aptitude questions 
like they want to know about their thinking process how they get to the solution so right. the first round was based on that i qualified to the second round and the uh, second round was based on uh, oops concept and implementing the oops concepts and few intermediate ds equations very very interesting journey you have had trying out uh, a core domain electrical engineering moving to a gate preparation coming back thinking let's transition to it sector getting into the it sector also fairly quickly in 6 months and yeah, yeah uh, i think i think you'll grow very very quickly in the it sector right yeah. i think uh, yeah. your primary focus should be on learning as much as you can in the initial years of your career and the growth is immense if you are doing well and are highly skilled in this sector right yeah. i am pretty happy that uh, i am in the fintech domain actually it's booming right now right right, so right absolutely knowingly i got into this but i am very happy right now got it i i don't think you should worry too much about the domain though just focus on building those hard tech skills right uh, that yeah. is that is what should be your goal right now okay perfect thanks a lot thanks a lot vivek thanks for your time nice talking to you thank you for having me thank you okay guys so that was a pretty interesting conversation with vivek uh, surprised to hear uh, that a lot of tier 1 folks from non cs non it backgrounds uh find it really helpful to find a structured program like acio job to actually upskill and get into the software domain and uh, people don't believe us but uh, around we have more than 100 students uh, from tier 1 colleges studying at acio job as well and uh, uh, they get a immense learning curve with the program and great set of opportunities to get into uh, in the software development field and start their career from the branch which they haven't really pursued their majors in bachelor or uh, masters in right and uh, if you are also a student coming from a tier 1 college feel that you need a program like ours feel free to sign up in the link given in the description and join one of our upcoming batches at acio job also do like share and subscribe to the channel we'll keep coming up with more interesting videos uh, to help you navigate your journey breaking into the software development field really well thank you so much